What could be an all-out effort to bring home an American soldier held by the Taliban for years? The State Department confirming the U.S. is prepared to negotiate with the enemy. And tonight, as you can imagine, the parents of that soldier are saying this comes not a moment too soon. ABC's David Wright on the ordeal one family. It's not over yet. My name is Bo Bergdahl. He was a private first class when his Taliban captors sent out this video. Well, I'm scared. I'm scared I won't be able to go home. It is very un unnerving to be a prisoner. That was four years ago. The private is now a sergeant, promoted twice in captivity. But the only real stripes for Bergdahl are those yellow ribbons on the trees back home. He has been gone far too long. We continue to call for and work towards his safe and immediate release. In Afghanistan, military raids and offers of reward have failed to produce results. Today, a glimmer of hope. Confirmation the U.S. is prepared to negotiate with the Taliban for his release. But U.S. officials won't say if they'll agree to Taliban demands for a prisoner exchange. We have not made a decision to, dis to transfer any Taliban detainees from Guantanamo Bay. In small-town Idaho, neighbors remember Bergdahl as a charming kid who worked in the local coffee shop, who loved to dance, fence, and ride his mountain bike. For his parents, it's been an agonizing ordeal. When they hear that their son possibly could be released, that's very, very good news for them. Just not soon enough, probably. I'm sure that they're thinking that the sooner the better. The U.S. military prides itself on never leaving a man behind. The war won't truly be over until Sergeant Bergdahl comes home. David Wright, ABC News, Los Angeles.